hello welcome and welcome back to my channel i am steve from top sounds so in this tutorial we shall be looking at how to load a song onto the decks on virtual dj using a key on the keyboard i bet you have been wondering how djs load their tracks or songs onto the decks very fast so for us keyboard users we use settings or mappings that we put on the keyboard which will help us to load the song very quickly onto the decks so without wasting much time let's head over to settings and then let's go to controllers and then advanced editor so for me i use this key here which is the escape key on the keyboard and then in the action box i will type in down question mark this down question mark here is a command for the keyboard whenever you press it down the action will start and then space ndo this ndo means the track or the song is on the playlist or on the browser like here the song must be here in the browser or in the playlist here so that is the meaning of the ndo and then you put underscore load it will select the song or the track from the browser and then it will load it to the particular deck you have selected and then space colon space load underscore next and then this command here will help you to load the next song assuming you have loaded this first song or the track here to the deck here and then if you press the key again it will load this downer track here which is next below it so that is the meaning of the mapping here load underscore next it will load the immediate track or song below the track you've first loaded to the decks and then space and space cross fader 50 percent i've just added this mapping here or this setting for the crossfader so that whenever i press this key it will take the crossfader to the default location or the default point and then space and space deck space level space 100 percent so this deck level 100 percent is for the volume in case the volume is down like this it will take it back to the maximum volume which is the default volume point and then that is the help of this mapping here and then space and eq underscore reset so this eq underscore reset help us to reset any active equalizers or any active or triggered equalizers so in case the equalizers have been triggered like this in case they have been triggered or changed it will take them back to their default points so that is the help of this eq underscore reset mapping and then space and space deck space effect space underscore disable underscore all this last mapping here helps us to disable all active effects that are on on the selected deck so this is the mapping after setting all of it save it and then this is how you can use it so first select the deck that you want to load the song to for me i used the tab key on the keyboard to select the deck that i want to load the song to so i will press on the tab assuming i want to load it to deck b let me first i'll load this song here okay so now i want to load this position track here to deck b I'll click on it 
and then I will press on the key that I've set to load the song. I will press the escape key. As you can see there, as soon as I press it, it will load the song to the particular deck I've selected. So let me load another song also on deck A here. Let me first unload it. And then this is the mapping that I've shown you that in case any of this has been triggered, including the crossfader, all the effect here, I'll press on the key to load the song and then everything will go back to their normal positions or the default settings. Let me press on escape key and you'll see the changes. You see that? It has loaded the next song and then disabled the effect here and then also took back all the equalizers to their default point and then the crossfader to the default 50%. Point. So that is one of the mappings which is very vital or important in your mixing using the keyboard. So check out this tutorial here where you will learn how to start scratch your tracks or songs on Virtual DJ. See you right in.